Hello gamers, this is Kirby Marie here and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to some more top 10 stuff related to video games. Before we begin, as usual, be sure to subscribe to my channel, ring the bell to get notified about the latest videos, also drop this video a like button, it helps out a lot, and leave your comments and your thoughts on this video or anything in general. For this list, we'll be taking a look at the top 10 best games of 2021. It literally offers so many incredible games this year, it was actually hard to cram this up on the top 10's list. So I made a list based on what I think are the best games and games that I highly recommend you to play. I would also appreciate some feedback and comments from your perspective side and see what are your top 10 best games of 2021. Alright people, let's get to this list. Number 10. Kina Bridge of Spirits Developed by Ember Lab, these devs have made a name for itself as an incredibly talented animation studio. This story follows Kina's world where deceased people can remain between the physical and spirit world if they are traumatized or feel unfinished. Kina's task is to understand their difficulties and help them move on and she does it with the help of these adorable little black furballs called Rot. This game doesn't break the mold in any way and it has challenging combats, smartly designed puzzles, engaging exploration, and tight and linear design. This is an experience that is consistently enjoyable to play. Kina Bridge of Spirits surpasses all expectations on the visuals, creating gorgeous world populated by beautiful environments as if it was literally being ripped up from a CG movie. Number 9. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy Developed by Eidos Montreal and published by Square Enix, this game had to deal with its fair share of skeptics after the disastrous launch in 2020, Marvel's Avengers, and I'm happy to report that it proved us all wrong instantly. This story follows Peter Quill who becomes a mercenary named Star-Lord after years ago getting kidnapped and witnessing the death of his mother, and now must lead his crew of the Guardians of the Galaxy and go on some of the wackiest adventures whilst telling a story in tightly crafted linear experience. This story is the highlight of the experience, strengthened by the excellent portrayal of these characters. This game also offers you choices with actual consequences and some badass combat and also badass soundtrack and so much more. This was an unexpected surprise and I'm very happy to see how incredible this game is. Number 8. Returnal Developed by House Marky, this game took inspiration from Dark Souls but made it a badass action sci-fi game. This is a roguelite heavy sci-fi element that plays the idea of the time loop. This story follows Celine, a woman who goes to the planet of Atropos after a crash only to end up being stuck on a loop and she must figure out how to get out of it while also facing personal problems from her past. It is an action shooter that is able to put so many enemies and hostile bullets that becoming overwhelmed is just part of the experience. This game does not hold your hand, it is actually difficult. But it never feels cheap despite it all because you can upgrade your character and the controls are tight and it doesn't take long for you to get used to it and being able to fight back better. This is one of the best action sci-fi games that have come out so far in, in the gaming industry. Number 7. It Takes Two A cooperative game developed by Hazelight Studios and published by EA, this 3D platformer came out at the beginnings of the year and people still keep talking about this game today. Especially since it won the Game of the Year award and very well deserved. This story follows the troubled marriage of Mei and Cody as they turn into tiny dolls after their daughter performs a spell that ends up with them turning like this in order to get back together. Will they resolve their differences in their marriage or will they ultimately go their separate ways? Well, you'll definitely have to play this game to find out. It flips between being a platformer, an RPG, a strategy game, a fighting game. It puts a little bit of everything in it. It can be a lot of abilities to learn, say, every 20 minutes and can feel a little tiresome. But everything is so fresh and exciting that you won't care much for that. You don't necessarily need to play this with your other half. You can play this with siblings, kids, parents, friends, or whatever cause the experience is equally fun for everyone. Number 6. Little Nightmares 2 Developed by Tarsier Studios and the sequel to 2017's Little Nightmares, the story follows a paperback boy named Mono as he, alongside with returning character from the first game 6, 
must now work together to survive another horrific adventure while learning that what is truly happening in this new world. This is one of the most unique and horrifying games we play in quite some time. Building up on its predecessor, this sequel delivers a creepy, horrific experience where contrasting elements work so well to create something unique and nightmare-inducing. It offers smart puzzles and platforming sections with the additional of combat stealth. And this game's wordless story has stayed with us even now. Number 5. Psychonauts 2 The long-awaited sequel to 2005's Psychonauts, the classic game has finally returned and luckily, was a resounding acclaim. Normally when sequels are being made for games that have come out for the past 20 years in that sense are most likely setting themselves up for failure. But this is not the case with Psychonauts 2. The story follows Raz as he joins other Psychonauts inside Lobato's mind to learn his co-conspirator identity and learn that a cruel hydrokinetic person named Maligula flooded and destroyed the capital of the nation of Grulovia. This literally continues from the first game and expands upon in every way fans would want. And it offers a story that deals with heavy themes from perfect balance of humor and sensitivity and the experience defined by boundless creativity with the addition of bringing back Tim Schafer's visual designs that have been known for in this franchise. You can't help but have a good time in this game, literally. Number 4. Deathloop Developed by Roll Like, who developed games like Prey and Dishonor, this was another unexpected surprise. When I first saw the trailers for this game, many players, and myself included, really thought this game would completely turn out to be another multiplayer game, mimicking games like Apex, Overwatch, and many more, and that would eventually be forgotten. But oh boy, we were so wrong. We weren't even close to what this game truly is. It definitely rocked our freaking pants up. The story follows a man named Colt, the former head of security on the island of Black Reef, which he finds himself trapped on a time loop. Everybody else is also stuck on the time loop and wants to preserve it because it's making them essentially immortal, but Colt wants to put a stop to this. This is a simple concept that is so well executed that it leaves me wondering why no one has done this before. The time loop here is being used to help gather information so you can eventually set up that perfect run and you can assassinate all of the 8 characters before midnight. This gives you freedom to work everything and to choose a perfect path in taking them all out efficiently which is up to your choice. This game offers players perfectly executed assassination missions, it offers great stealth sections for those who love stealth games. It is just Again, an unexpected surprise and an amazing game that has come out so far. Number 3. Resident Evil Village The 8th installment in the main Resident Evil series and developed by the iconic Capcom, this game turned out better than what a lot of people thought it would be. The story continues from Resident Evil 7 as a year later has passed since the horrific incident and now Ethan and Mia are living a normal life with their daughter. But all that goes to hell immediately when Chris Redfield breaks into their home and he kills Mia and kidnaps his child. And now Ethan must once again face horrific creatures in order to save his child and find out what is truly going on. This game brings both action and horror gameplay back and it has work on their favor, featuring an amazing incredible roster of villains while also offering intense moments and gruesome and very gory moments in a good way that would make Naughty Dog jealous, it brought back both the Resident Evil 1 and Resident Evil 4's gameplay styles, this time in first person perspective. It definitely has returned to the form for the type of Resident Evil game that should have had ages ago. Number 2. Ratchet & Clank Ripped Apart The latest installment in the Ratchet & Clank series and developed by Insomniac, this is a tour for the power of the PlayStation 5. This story follows Ratchet and Clank as they're being celebrated as a scholastic heroes, but as usual, Dr. Nefarious attacks the parade and during the whole mess, Ratchet accidentally shoots the Dimensionator which causes dimensional rips to begin opening randomly, and they all end up transported to another alternate universe. 
Here, we are also introduced to new characters, Rivet, a Lombax like Ratchet, and Kit, a tiny robot like Clank. This is a story with a lot of heart driven by excellent cast of both new and returning characters. This is an action-packed adventure game with fantastic set piece and always badass wacky weapons, and you can feel the constraint being lifted and the creativity. This is so much fun to play through and has so much character laced into every moment, which feels like a standard Ratchet and Clank game. And this game wasted no time getting to its core gimmick, and they absolutely took advantage of the tech to give us one of the first true PS5 games. Before we mention our number one pick, we wanted to mention a lot of more honorable mentions. Number 1. Halo Infinite The Campaign Developed by 343 Industries, this game has been through some pretty rough development, with the game supposedly to be released in 2020, but after receiving negative feedback, it was decided to delay it for another year. This was one of the last games that came out in 2021, and what they have achieved now is outstanding. This story follows in 2559, the UNCS Infinity is attacked and boarded by the Banish, and Master Chief is defeated by Atriox and being hurled to space. Six months later, he is found by someone named Echo216, and he eventually later on locates the weapon that imitates Cortana, and both of them go on another incredible journey, defeating evil once again. Its open world campaign is one of the series' best campaigns to date, which as anyone familiar with the series will tell you it is super high praise. With excellent improvements, this side of the experience can become even better. It offers incredible combat, tight movements, and solid designs that haven't been done in quite some time. I am so happy to say that Halo is back at last to its best. And that's my list. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think of these top 10s. Again, appreciate your feedback. Let me know what are your top 10 best games of 2021. Let's have a conversation in the comments down below. It would be pretty interesting. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you really did enjoy it, drop me the like button. It helps out a lot. If you're not subscribed to the channel, would appreciate it if you do. Also, leave your comments and your thoughts on this video or anything in general. And yeah, that is about it. We'll be seeing you on the next video.